weightlessness. That means suppose a person is standing on the platform of a lift and the lift string all of a sudden breaks and the platform is coming down freely. That means the acceleration of the lift platform is equal to uh, the acceleration due to gravity only. That means A is equal to G. Then the person feels weightlessness. So weightlessness is a phenomena that is seen in this case when you are standing on a body and the body is coming down freely with acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity. So this is a very important thing, what I want to tell you, right? So suppose that uh, the acceleration with which the body coming down is greater than G, then weight becomes negative. That also can be possible. Weight becomes negative means uh, the person who is standing on the lift will move upwards with the negative acceleration it will go. Right, so this is also very interesting to see. The person is standing in the lift cabin, and the lift is coming down with an acceleration which is greater than acceleration due to gravity. Then weight becomes negative. Why? Because m becomes more than g. That means a is greater than g. When a is when a is greater than g, weight is equal to negative. Weight becomes negative. Weight becomes negative means uh, weight is acting in the opposite direction. That means acceleration on the body will be in the opposite direction. Body will lift himself up, detaching from the platform. He will move upwards gradually. So this is what is called negative weight acting on the body. So weightlessness you understood, negative weight also you understood. So it's a very interesting lesson, right? Now next uh, topic, what I want to tell you is, a question most of the time asked is that why is pulling is uh, much easier than pushing a roller? A roller is kept on the on, a, on the ground and you have to move it. You can move it by pulling it or by pushing it. So these are the two cases what I'm going to explain here. Why is pushing difficult and uh, pulling is easy? So this is the case. So suppose this is a, a roller, right? And uh, this is the roller frame, right? It is kept here, right? So it is the force is acting on here, right? So but this is a case. So but this the roller has moved in this forward direction. If force is acting in this direction, force the F is acting in this direction. Then what is happening is we are pushing it. This is the case of pushing. Pushing. When you push with a force downwards, this force can result in two components. This is like this, this is like this, right? Suppose this angle makes an angle theta. If this is F, then this is equal to F cos theta, and this is equal to F sine theta. Remember, the weight of the body is acting vertically and onwards, that is equal to mg. Right? I think you are able to see the diagram that I made on the board, right? This is orthogonal, that means they, are, they must be perpendicular, F sine theta. So this is the roller kept here and the roller is now uh, pushed to move it on the floor. So force is applied along this direction, right? The force applied is making angle theta with the horizontal. Therefore, in this direction, the component of the force is because any vector quantity can be resolved into two components. One is cos theta component, other is sin theta component. What is cos theta component? The line which makes an angle theta with the total force, that component will be cos theta component, other will be sin theta component. So this is the condition taking place. So when you push it, two forces are acting in the downward direction. The mg and the f sin theta, both are acting in the downward direction. That means this f sin theta will add more weight to the body. So if cos theta is the only component that has to move the body in the forward direction, as weight increases, it is difficult to move the body on the floor. So when we push it and the force can be solved two components, the sine theta component of the force is adding weight of the body. Hence, it is difficult to push the body, uh, push the, the roller uh, on the ground, right? Next one is pulling. That pulling also we can see. So this is a very good question most of the time asked. That is why this is what is called a pulling. So right, 
So this is uh, if force is F is acting on the body, right? Uh, right. This is mg is acting down, right? Like this. Then this now this force can be again resolved into two components. One is like this, other is like this. Am I correct? Okay. Suppose this angle is equal to theta with the horizontally most of the time theta is taken. Therefore, this is this component is f cos theta, and this is equal to f sin theta. Mg is acting vertically downwards. So at the time when we are pulling the roller, you see that sine theta is in a direction of positive way. That means when we pull the roller with the force F, right, the sine theta component of the force reduces the weight of the body. So weight of the body is reduced, so it becomes easier to pull the body uh, in a certain direction on the floor or on the ground. So this is a very important result that also I have said. Next, uh, we have to discuss some numerical problems. There are so many numerical. This is a very important topic. So many numerical problems are there in this topic. Some numerical problems also we will discuss here today. All right. So this is one problem what I am going to write on the board. Two mutually perpendicular forces. Question one. Question one, two, two mutually perpendicular. I have to write it. Mutually perpendicular forces, forces of eight newton and six newton and six newton are acting simultaneously. Are acting simultaneously. Or I can try simultaneously on a particle on a particle of mass of mass 5 kg of mass 5 kg find the magnitude direction of the force find the magnitude and direction Magnetic direction of the force of the force force and acceleration on the body. Acceleration on the body. This is the question. So two mutually perpendicular forces. Magnitude of the forces are 8 Newton and 6 Newton are simultaneously acting on a particle of mass 5 kg. Perpendicular. So two forces when they are acting perpendicular, these two forces can be represented by the two sides of a parallelogram. Right? Resultant force is obtained by the diagonal of the parallelogram. So in that case, uh, right? Given what, what all things given, you will write given. Uh, given what? Mass, mass m is equal to what is that? 5 kg. Again, <coughs> p is equal to first force p is equal to p is equal to what is called 8 newton. Q is equal to what is called 6 newton. Right? What we are 